What's going on everyone? It's me, Alex the Rambler. Or should I say, ya yeah boy, you know? Apparently I've been forgetting to say that recently, but I'm back once again coming at you live from, from this screen. Probably on YouTube, unless someone's uploaded my videos to a different website, which I hope that isn't the case. Please don't fap to this. I know it might be hard and I'm irresistible, but come on, come on now. But today I've decided to start my own political party. I need to represent all balding people in the world, and to do that, I'm playing a new game. I mean, it's not new new, but it's still in early access, so I think that counts, right? We're playing Law Givers! So, of course, if you support my decision to create a political party, leave a like, comment, and subscribe! What policies would you like to see in my party? Just, just comment below, but today we'll begin a new game, and I think... Shall I bother with the tutorial? I'll be back after I've played the tutorial. Alright, here we go. I'm ready. I would like a standard game. Um, Italy? <laughs> I don't think so. I think I'm gonna have to try and get elected in the UK. Conservatism party? Who do I even pick? Can I create my own- Yes! Yes, let me create my own custom party. Baldies unite! Acronism! B-O! No. B-U! Uh, green? I do like green. Ideologies. Money. Just give me all the money. Uh, no. Do I care about uh, conservatism, nationalism, globalism? Okay. Capitalist and globalist. And environmentalist. They don't really go together, but I'm gonna increase my size. Yes, size 5. Founded 2019. I'm already big. Baldies unite. Let's go! Alright, so in Lawgivers, you have 52 weeks to make as big an impact as possible, or just basically run run the nation or, or try and get elected. Currently, we don't have any elected representatives. Um, that will happen in week 12. Uh, I have already played through a bit of this. But it's going to happen ag again now because my, my webcam was blocking the left-hand side and I... I, I, uh, I messed up. Okay, so I'm going to start by distributing flyers. Uh, for for eight weeks to spread the news of Baldies Unite. Then, uh, a few weeks in, we're going to do uh, who will you vote for at the next general election. Boom. Okay, so now we're doing a bit of a fundraising. Baldies Unite. Oh my god, how much money were the Conservatives allowed to raise? That seems a bit off, wouldn't you say? I think that's a little bit off. So here we have the European Union. Teamwork makes the dream work. Hmm. Okay. Joseph, you're going to talk badly about a political party. I'm not going to mention which one yet. Don't want to give that away. <laughs> All right. So if we take a little look at Baldies Unite, we'll see here that our members is Joseph, who's 35, Ivy, who's 55, and Mary, who's 72. So all older than my target demographic of young people who are going bald, but we'll take what we can get. Uh, so Joseph, off you go. You're going to... Um, talk bad about the Conservative Party. We need to get rid of their vote. Don't worry, I'm going to be talking bad about every party. I don't have a whole lot of money, uh, so I might have to go to a bank and ask for a loan. Yeah, National Bank, thanks for the loan. I'm not going to pay it back. I'm going to have the attitude of um, medieval kings of England. If people got too rich for, for the king's own good, if, if the king was taking out loans and he didn't want to pay them back, he'd just kill them. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. We'll raise happiness for people. Okay, I guess we'll run the poll again. Oh, we're up. Oh, we're at 10.5% in the polls. That's okay. If we can hamper the conservative vote a little bit more, that'd be good. I would like to buy a percentage of the vote. Oh my god, I can be corrupt. Okay, I'm protesting. I'm making people unhappy uh, for, for many, many turns, and I've run out of money again. Oh dear. We've got to increase our percentage of the vote. Okay, I think the election's happening. Baldies unite. We've got four seats in Parliament. Well, we almost got 14% of the vote. That's not quite what I wanted, but I can deal with that. We can work with that. We can work with that. Okay, I'm going to try and limit the Prime Minister terms. No one really likes that, but we'll, we'll stick it in. We'll stick it in. That's what she said. Time to vote on the law. I will approve. Who is voting nay? No one wants to approve Prime Minister term limits. 
It's just me. I'm the only party that... Oh my god. Who do we vote for to be Prime Minister? We'll go... The Conservatives technically have more members, so we might have a better chance of getting laws through if they like us. I'm making the mistake the Liberal Democrats made several years ago. I could assassinate... Ooh. Oh, if I had the money, I could assassinate people. I guess I'll vote for Edna. I will approve agricultural research. Oh, let's go. No one is... Okay. Wow, that was passed really easily. Huh. Keep the monarchy. No one wants to keep the monarchy? You having a giraffe? Oh, Queenie. Oh, wait, no. I voted to abolish. I clicked the wrong button. I misclicked. I'm sorry, Queen. I didn't... I know. I want to keep the monarchy. Oh. Oh, I've only got managed to get... Ah, damn. I've lost some of the vote. That's frustrating, but we kept our four seats, so that's that's good. That's all good. Now we vote on the next Prime Minister, I guess. Um, I'll vote for Edna again. She seemed to do an okay job. I clicked on the wrong thing again. I keep clicking on abolish. I, when I see green, I think that means yes. Keep it, but no, apparently not. <gasps> We've got a donation. Thank you. Nice. European Union. Oh. I'm going to take the middle ground and abstain. <laughs> um, looks like we're leaving though. Oh dear. I don't have enough money to buy an election. Oh, just let me wash some money. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not corrupt enough. I'll be corrupt. Just offer me corruptness. I personally think that having a strong police force will help with schools in future but maybe that's just me eh so i still don't really have enough um power to try and get many laws through except uh, the bus transportation service i think people are in favor of this oh this is great this will go down very well with the people get out of my way get out of my way oh my giddy aunt i approve of bus transport service Come on, come on, come on! We got it through! Retirement homes. We kind of need to keep retirement homes. It has to be said. We can't let the old people out on the streets. They'll cause more damage than being locked away. That's actually really dark. Do I want to legalise prostitution? It appears some parties might go for this. So you know what? Yes. Might as well tax it. That's one thing we can tax then after that, surely. Public libraries. No, no, I voted to abolish them. Um, it appears we've abolished public libraries. I'm going to talk bad about the Conservative Party. They're my main threat. I need to get rid of them, even though I've been voting along with them. Oh my god, I've got over 20% of the popularity now. Holy moly. It's election time. Oh my god. I got as many points as Labour and the Conservatives. And in fact, I came second in the election. <gasps> Now's the time to vote for myself, Mary. We will vote for Mary. Come on, Mary. Come on. I'm freaking Prime Minister. Baldies Unite is now, is now in charge of UK policy. But unfortunately, we don't have a majority. So... <sighs> okay, I'm going to try and get 40 seats in Parliament now. Will people like that? I have no idea, but we'll, we'll find out in a few turns. Child benefit. If you don't approve of child benefit, what's wrong with you? And it appears most people approve. Okay. Come on, at least let me get one law through. I will talk about abolishing tax. People like that. I need the vote. No, I, I'm sorry, world. We will decline the income tax. Now this. That's, that's the result I like. I'm in charge again. Second term. Here we go. Oh, we lost by one vote. What a con. I want to legalise gambling. I'm going to see if I can get that through at some point. At least that'll bring in some tax income. Ambulance service, I'm approving of it. My, my, my percentage of the vote is going down quite rapid. Okay, who wouldn't approve of legalising gambling? Apparently no one's declared... Oh, one, two... Hmm. I don't want either of these parties to get in, really. But I guess I'll vote for Kathleen. If only because Elizabeth screwed me over last time. So this game seems quite, um, it's basic in a way, but it, it, they don't, there are some little com complexities to it. And I think for, I think I've got this for under five pounds. Uh, so I think that's, I think it's worth the price, if, if, if I'm at all honest. I've got the most votes. I'm happy with that. I think that's where I'm probably going to end it today. 
Uh, it's like a never-ending cycle. Um, overall, I think this is a very nice little game. So if you want to check it out, feel free to. Uh, and glory to uh, Baldies Unite. Bye. Many thanks to Onion Duck, Maximilian, Wyatt Green, Ryan Koch, Cody Freeze, Wyatt Green again, a different one, Greencoat Gaming, Name Name 1231, Aiden, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, Sean Young, and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous Rambler supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other Patreons too! Ramblers, yep. <laughs>